Hello everyone, I welcome you all to this course Certification in Quantity Survey and today we will be dealing with the main topic of our quantity survey that what exactly are the estimates What exactly is an estimate? So the first thing let us see the what exactly the background of calculating the estimate itself so the I just want to start any project or work, you know, so I have I must know what is the quantum of the work is going to be Right and for that a and what is the costing that I'm going to need for that project? So let us take another simple again the same example of constructing a house I have decided I have to construct a house and for that I need to know What exactly the quantum of the house is going to be that means I want to construct a house in a short simple words I want to construct a two bedroom hall kitchen house wherein two toilets will be there uh, and uh, I'll have one uh, four wheeler parking two two wheelers parking and a compound wall around the house okay so that is the com quantum of my house work defined means this much of room this much of toilets then veranda then parking slots and the compound wall this total I want to get constructed right and the second one for this I will go I might going to need something 50 lakh rupees suppose okay so this much of amount of work is to be done for this much of work exactly so that is what I need to know okay if I am not clear about what exactly I am going to construct for construct with then there might be the con uh, situations I might arise with some conflicts with my contractor there will be the confusion and ultimately the incomplete work will be there why there will be the money shortages unclear directions that is the situation might occur so the first important thing will be for starting any project you must know what are the starts and ends of the project that this is going to be a whole project it's all about and then what are the types of constructions you are going to have inside the projects and what are the time slots and money you have available for that construction and that all must be defined properly at the start of the project only and this is what the estimate is all about estimate is the process of calculating the quantities and costs related to the various items required in a connection with the work that we are expected to do so in case of construction if i want to construct a house what are the quantities starting from the excavation pcc till finishing painting and everything whatever the quantities there are going to be and what are the rates for each of that quantity going to be and ultimately this total cost is going to be there so what is the total cost will be and available time i do have and available manpower and material machineries i can expect from the contractor so all that expectations i do have is in explained into the estimate so it's a document telling us about the quantities to be generated you know expected in a project and the cost related to them so to calculate this uh, estimate we need to have the drawings for the sections then plans and elevations and the details of the site because these four are very essential for you to know what is the quantum of the work there and based on the quantum of the work what are the materials machineries and manpower you are expected to utilize with it the so next one let us take the example simple one to understand what exactly is an estimate is all about a very simple example i just want to construct a compound wall around my house this is the area of my house uh, area available that is 20 meter by 12 meter is a place available there is a house inside over here and i just want to construct a compound wall this one the compound wall will look uh, like this how what it is there will be the concrete pillars in uh, at certain distances from each other and that distance let us consider this distance is a 2 meter I, uh, this drawing is not at all to the scale I am just giving you the brief example what exactly it can be please don't go for scale to scale this is only a pictorial explanation for what exactly the wall can look like and then uh, there is a brickwork in between them so uh, in between two pillars this all is a brickwork I am expecting and uh, this one and at the top there is a barbed wire with some fencing and the y angle uh, y shape angles fitted to this one okay now i need do i have everything that i need over here is no 
because I got the okay brickwork details fine uh, this much of two meter distance and this brickwork barbed wire details okay the, there is a, a circular of uh, you know 0.5 meter diameter and the Y shapes are uh, arranged as per that and then I don't have the details of this column so for that I need to have the section of the wall to be taken right I need to uh, take the section of the wall at this one so that's to see what exactly are these column details and these are the column details so this column is uh, expected to be 2 meter at the depth from the ground level and there is a PCC then there is a uh, footing over here and that column is going to rise till the height we are expected to add till of the barbed wire over here there will be certain barbed wires so this is the total height of the column above the ground level now I first of all define how many quantities are going to be there from the start of the work exactly for the simple explanation I have put a table over here this is what our quantity sheet will look alike which will have the serial number then description about what exactly is that item is going to serve the purpose so first one uh, will be description then it is uh, the length of that description then the breadth and the height and the total quantity that's a multiplication of this one so most of the things over here are uh, with the length breadth and height so we are going to have the multiplication of these three will which will going to give us the quantity of that specific thing I'm going to give you a brief one because we are going this is what we are going to do in a quantity survey so a brief introduction to what exactly is estimate so the first one let's suppose uh, I'm going to do the excavation for this project uh, so whatever the excavation I do have uh, let's go to the previous slide the total excavation I'm going to have is from for call number of columns so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10, 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 and 18 columns right so in total i have to excavate for 18 columns what to excavate what is the length Barabha? okay so for that i need to see this one right so this is the pcc over here and from here this is the pcc i have to excavate till the pcc now what is the depth given depth is given as a 2 meter so now that is the depth is given to be a 2 meter hmm? what is the breadth now let us consider it has to be a square foot a foundation so 2.5 by 2.5 so that is total 2.5 by 2.5 is the breadth okay so quantity for one excavation will be quantity of for one footing will be multiplication of these three now I want to calculate for 18 footing so in number of 18 I'll just put over here so 18 into 2.5 into 2.5 into 2 will be the quantity of the excavation for those respective footings adding it in a similar way we are going to calculate the quantity of the you know uh, whatever the other metals we are going to use the same one there will be the PCC for that we are going to calculate then there will be the concreting up to here then concreting maybe for here then we'll calculate the concreting differently for the column starting from here then we are going to calculate the quantity of the steel that is been used into the column as well as in the footings as a this jali we call it we are going to see and the next one whatever the brick works that we have done over here that quantity will be included in this one then this y shaped angles we are seeing it's one that they will be spaced at 2 meter from each uh, uh, above each um, column and the barbed wire uh, the 0.5 diameter barbed wire will be rolled around at the distance of suppose 100 mm center to center so that is what we are going to look for this one so these all quantities will be included into this one so for concreting then will we have PCC will have concreting and then we will have brickwork maybe then we will be having uh, reinforcement and at the end we will have barbed wire and wire etc so this is what and based on the length breadth and height and number of times they are utilized we are going to calculate the quantity so ultimately what we are going to get this quantity in total for every item right so now I'll have the other table wherein there will be the quantity of this every item and the rate 
per meter for every item per per unit of for every item so whatever the rate for per, per unit i am going to have then they apply and the total cost of the project that i am going to get at the end is will be the total estimate of our project and based on this estimate we'll be asking for the contracts and tenders to open getting it so this is the very basic and introductory part of the estimate i have explained we'll be going through in this uh, this about in detail whenever uh, now onwards rather we are going to calculate the quantity for each and every smallest item as i said starting from the excavation till the final laying of you know, the painting then even um, uh, plumbing work electrical work and everything with this i wish you all the best thank you so much